Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang with Season 3 of K-Check. Today we are challenging a new set of contestants to see how much they know and how far they'll go. So stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. We have Erica who is a Business Administration student of UP Diliman. She enjoys spending time with her family and spoiling her Shih Tzu, Georgia. Si Angela naman is an accountancy student in FEU Manila. Her hobbies are reading and dancing. She's also a K-pop fan. Her favorite groups are Tomorrow by Together, BTS, and N-Hyphen. Dias is a student of UP Diliman who studies theater. His hobbies are playing video games and basketball. Given the chance, he will swim until his arms fall off. Ibang klase. Ibang klase ang peg niya. Ha? Si Sed naman is a mechanical engineering student of Iris. His hobbies are playing basketball, going to the gym, and riding a motorcycle. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at the UP Diliman. Sunod naman, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. And UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Correct answers are 10 points each. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. So, let's begin. This is round one. Question number one, contestants, what constellation or zodiac sign outlines a person pouring water from a jar? Dias. Aquarius. Anonym ng boses, Aquarius is the correct answer. K-check. Okay, modulated na modulated. <laughs> Question number two, what continent is the main setting of the award-winning film Hotel Rwanda? Dias. Africa. Africa is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. A farrier is a blacksmith who specializes in making shoes for what animal? Said. Horse. Horse is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. In what sport did Alex Ayala achieve the highest world ranking for a Filipino in May 2024, Dias? Tennis. Tennis is the correct answer. K-check. Question number five. At $400, Boardwalk is the most expensive property in the U.S. edition of what board game? Erica. Monopoly. Monopoly is the correct answer. K-check. Question number six. Carlo Paalam and Nesty Petesho won silver medals for the Philippines at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics in what sport? Dias. Skateboarding. Skateboarding is incorrect. Seth. Pole vault. Pole vault is also incorrect. Nanalo sila sa sport na boxing. Question number seven, which breed of dog that was developed in Germany has a name that may also describe what Manny Pacquiao is? Boxer is the correct answer. <laughs> Question number eight, what word coined in 1869 by a German zoologist now refers to the study of relationships of organisms with their environment. Dias. Ecology. Ecology is the correct answer. k -check. Question number nine. Which planet is the second brightest natural object in the night sky? Dias. Venus. Venus is the correct answer. k -check. Question number ten. In mental math this time, 12 
is three-fifths of what number? Twelve is three-fifths of what number? Erica? Sixteen. Hi. Sixteen is incorrect. Dias? Twenty. Twenty is the correct answer. K check. Question number eleven. What general term is given to a panel composed of cells designed to absorb the sun's rays as a source of energy for generating electricity. Dias. Solar panel. Solar panel is the correct answer. K check. Last question for this round. Question number 12. What kind of animal is the title character of the classic novel Moby Dick? Dias. Whale. Whale is the correct answer. Buti na lang nag-survive ang ating buzzer system. K check. And that's it for the first round. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gabby. So after that round, let's do a scores recap. Dias is leading with 80 points, followed by Erica and Sed with 10 points each. At si Angela naman, pwede pang humabol sa susunod na round. Mm -hmm. So, nandito na tayo, Attorney, sa favorite segment natin sa show na to, kung saan mas kinikilala natin yung mga contestants. Ito ang... K Chica! <laughs> Simulan Grabe natin. ang audience natin <laughs> Kay today. Erica. Si Erica, may ilan ding mga dog lovers kasi dito sa K-Check. No? So, paano mo ba spinuspoil si Georgia? Tanggal na ng name ni Georgia. No? Para mas ma-inspire kaming alagaan at mahalin yung dogs namin. <laughs> um, most hindi spoil lang naman sa treats. Kaya ngayon, pag itignan mo siya, medyo malobo na siya tignan. <laughs> Lobo na. Mm. Yun lang. Yung kinakalaro rin namin. <laughs> Isa lang ang asa ninyo? Um, recently nanganak siya. So, naging apat na sila. Oh. At may names na ba sila? Yes. Bakit nga ba Georgia ang pangalan ni Georgia in the first place? Hindi ko po alam. Dahil ang nagpangalan sa kanya ay ang aking tatay. Mm. <laughs> Ayan, so treats. Bigyan ng treats lalo na pag may good Huwag behavior. Huwag masyado. Yes, sakto lang. Basta <laughs> pang ano lang. <laughs> Mapunta naman tayo kay Angela. When you say hobby mo ang magbasa, ano nga ba ang binabasa mo? Also, how do you do your reading? Totoo ang libro pa ba? Are you one of those people na they like the feel of the pages? Or do you do digital or online reading? Uh, both po. Uh, there may ano po, e-book and then I have physical books po. But mas mahal po kasi ang physical books so usually e-book na lang po binapasa ko ngayon. Pero ano yung favorite uh, genre, genre mo? Genre po is usually fiction and then yeah, uh, romance. Fiction yes. and romance. Sino ba ang Matanong ko lang, dati kasi nung panahon sa ibang mga tao dito, di ba? <laughs> Pag romance, Barbara Cartland, Mills and Boone, meron ba ang popular line of romance novels ngayon? Uh, usually, nahanak ko lang po sila sa social media and uh, mga US uh, uh, authors po sila. Okay, thank you so much, Eric and Angela. Mamaya naman, babalikan natin si Nadayas and said. Pero ngayon, paghandaan naman natin ang round two. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! At tuloy pa rin po ang ating karunungan check. Diba at this point in time, Dias is leading with 80 points. Erica and Sed are both tied with 10 points each and Angela has a little bit of catching up to do. Tarni, tuloy na natin ang second part ng... Kay Chica! Ngayon naman si Dias ang kausapin natin. Dias, mahilig lumangoy hanggang mag-fall off ang kanyang arms. So bakit naman ganito ka-extreme yung dedication mo sa swimming? Masaya lang po eh. <laughs> it's basically just fun to do and... Uh, it's a hop. It's really peaceful to swim on your own, and I love swimming. <laughs> anong anong payo mo sa mga natatakot sumubok lumangoy? Wag po kayong matakot sa tubig. Dapat po araw-araw na liligo. Charot. <laughs> <laughs> Iba but where do you usually swim? Meron po Sabi niya at home. <laughs> <laughs> At home po, eventually. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Pero meron po malapit sa amin sa bahay na pool. Okay. Sana matapos na yung mga swimming pool dito sa loob ng oh, campus natin. Makagamit mga sudyante. <laughs> oh, ikaw naman, Sed. Uh, saan ang paborito mong puntahan habang sakay ang iyong motor? At uh, maluwag ba sa loob ng mga magulang mo na ikaw ay magmotor? Ah, uh, yes po. Uh, binilihan po yes ako po, ng... Yes po, kasi pareho din silang <laughs> nagmotor. <laughs> binilihan po ako ng mam ko ng motor para oh. po uh, mag... Oh. 
take na po ako ng motor papasok po ng school since nagmahal na po yung mga pamasahe. So, mas malaking tipid po na nakakapag-motor po ako papasok. And hindi naman po siya hassle tulad ng pagka nagko-commute po ako, minsan traffic po. Mm -hmm. Yan po. Uh, hindi mo naman naisip na magbisikleta? Uh, nagbabike po ako pero nakakapagod po. Pawis ka pagdating <laughs> oh, sa school. Well, <laughs> diba? well, we learned something new about our contestants. Yeah. Diba? Mm -hmm. And we learned a lot of things from them. That's why we like this portion called... Okay, Chika! Uy, nakikinig ang audience niya. Oo nga. Well, maraming maraming salamat sa ating mga contestants for sharing yourselves with us. And now, it's time for round two. So, contestants, get ready to buzz in. But please make sure to strategize kasi sa round na to, correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Kaya, let's begin! This is round two. Question number one. On May 2024, people in lower latitudes were able to see a spectacular night sky show that they might not have ever seen before. What do you call this display? Dias. Aurora Borealis. Let me proceed. Display of Northern Lights, Aurora Borealis is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. Complete the title of a famous book and film with a fashion icon the Devil Wears Blank, Angela. The, the Devil Wears Prada. Devil Wears Prada or just Prada, that's correct. Okay, check. Question number three. Macbeth and Hamlet are two of the greatest tragedies written by which English playwright? Dias. William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare is correct. Okay, check. Tandahan lang. Hindi ka lumalang, uy. Sorry po, sorry. Next question. The word bovine pertains to what animal? Dias. Pigs. Pigs is wrong. Anyone can steal. Correct answer is cattle or cow. Question number five. Which plant whose fibers are used in clothing, bags, and even paper money is also called manila hemp? Correct answer is abaka. Question number six. Which actor played the role of Indiana Jones in the 2023 film Indiana Jones in the Dial of Destiny? Dias. Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. Which 16-year-old female military figure led the French against England and eventually became the patron saint of France. Erica. Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc is correct. Kate check. Question number eight. What long-legged pink bird gets its color? Angela. <laughs> Yung question. Pwede pa tali po ng question. No, you already uh, buzzed it. Okay, anyone can steal. Said. Flamingo. Flamingo. Let me proceed. Uh, bird gets its color from cratonoids, which are pigments found in the algae and shrimp that it eats. You said flamingo. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What legal term means the delivery of an accused criminal from one country to another where the trial will be held? Correct answer is extradition. Question number 10. What country is the setting of the 2008 film Slumdog Millionaire? Dias. India. India is correct. Key check. Question number 11. What synthetic fiber developed by female chemist Stephanie Kolek is a popular material for bulletproof vests and sporting equipment? Dias. Kevlar. Kevlar is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. The single vampire gained the distinction of being number one in the Billboard music charts two months apart in 2023. Who recorded the hit song Vampire? Angela. Olivia Rodrigo. Olivia Rodrigo is correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round number two. Maraming salamat, Jules. And after that second round, 
Dias is way out there with 170 points. Erica, Angela, and Sed all follow with 30 points each. So, hindi pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! So welcome back to K-Check and before we resume with our ultimate pagalingan round, just a brief recap, Dias is in first place with 170 points while Erica, Angela and Sed all follow with 30 points each. But not all is lost dahil meron pang 360 possible points in the next round sa paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Tama, dito correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple-choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. Sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Kaya naman, let's, let's begin. begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. Prof. Marian, first question. Apes and monkeys are both primates but they have different properties. Which of the following features is considered in general the same for monkeys and apes? A. Presence of tail B. Body size C. Communication skills D. Posture or movement Dias D. Posture or movement Mali. Let me finish Or E. Both are found in Africa and Asia. Erica. C. Communication skills. Mali. Said. A. Presence of tail. Mali din. Angela. E. Both are found in Africa and Asia. Parang lahat na sagot na halos <laughs> yan. So, Apes and monkeys, ito yung chongo at maching in Filipino na akala natin pareho pero hindi. Apes and monkeys generally differ in size, intelligence, posture, and one important difference, apes do not have a tail while monkeys have a tail. Although only monkeys are found in the Americas, both can be found in Africa and Asia. The correct answer is E. K-check. Thank you. Prof. Lu. Okay, transport history. What is the first and oldest operating commercial airline in Asia? Choices are A. Cathay Pacific B. Garuda Indonesia C. Air India D. Philippine Airlines E. Japan Airlines uh, B. Garuda, Indonesia Sorry, incorrect Angela A. Cathay Pacific Mali po Although Philippine Airlines was officially founded on February 26, 1941 Its license to operate as an airliner was derived from the merged Philippine Aerial Taxi Company or PATCO established on December 3, 1930, making it Asia's oldest scheduled carrier still in operation. The correct answer is D, Philippine Airlines. Thank you. Sariling atin. Okay, next. Hindi nakikinig sa mga commercial ng Philippine Airlines. Heart of the Airlines. Philippines. Yeah. Okay, Prof. Sophie. Thank you. As a child, Rodolfo Vera Quizon sold peanuts and watermelon seeds at movie theaters to be allowed to watch for free. As an actor, he became famous under what name? A. Kachupoy B. Chiquito C. Dolphy D. Palito E. Panchito All options na all choices are names of um, comedians na baka hindi nyo nabutan. 
And the correct answer is C. Dolphy. Oh, could you? King of comedy. <laughs> King of comedy. <laughs> 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 si Prof Sophia na hindi nakilala si Dolphy. Although the Kizon family name should have been a, um, a definite clue. Yes. Thank you, Prof. Sophie. Next set of questions, Prof. Marian. Ito science for kasi invention din to. This garment was first worn by Roman and Greek women, referred to as mastodesmos, which was a band of linen worn during sports. The modern version was patented by an American activist and socialite, Caress Crosby, frustrated with her corset. What is the modern name for the mastodesmos? A. Skirt B. Shorts C. Brazier D. Girdle or E. Jogging Pants Dias A. Skirt Mali D. Girdle Mali pa rin C. B. Shorts Mali. Erika. Si Brazier. Parang ano, by elimination ito, eh, no? <laughs> Process of at elimination. Least, ma, ma, at least matapang silang sumagot. Um, ito, worn during sports, pero it's from the word mastodesmos, masto, mastectomy, meaning breast. So, the correct answer is C, Brazier, or bra. Okay, check. Ito si Dias, pag nagbibigay ng wrong answer, parang ano eh, physical ang kanyang pain. <laughs> Naririnig mo yung, ugh. <laughs> Prof. Lu, next question. Okay, world history naman. Which Russian empress led a successful rebellion against her husband, Peter III, to gain power? The choices are A. Catherine II B. Elena C. Natalia D. Sofia E. Olga Angela A. Catherine II Also known as Catherine the Great, this empress led a rebellion against Peter III and forced him to abdicate the Russian throne in 1762. Catherine was empress of Russia for 34 years, expanding and westernizing the Russian Empire. The correct answer is A. Catherine II K. Check. Prof. Sophie what artifact dating from 890 to 710 BCE, excavated from the Tabon Caves, tells us something about its maker's beliefs in the afterlife? A. Manunggul Jar. Dias. Manunggul Jar. Let me finish the choices. B. Bulol. C. Lingling O. D. Laguna Copper Plate. E. Kalatagan Pot. A. Manunggul jar is correct. Um, from the lid, <clears throat> we can see a boat with two figures. One of them is rowing, and the other one has his hands across, uh, no, across his chest. No, um, So, we can gather just from that lid that the people who made the Manunggul jar believed that the afterlife could be reached by crossing a body of water. Okay, check. Thank you so much. And that ends the first half of our questions. Let's do a scores recap, Attorney. Well, Dias still leads with 170 points, followed by Angela with 60, Erica with 45, and Sed with minus 15, negative 15 points. But we still have 180 points yes. left. Simulan natin, Prof. Marian. Ito para sa nakakabatong tanong. What type of rock is formed when molten material is solidified? A. Sedimentary B. Igneous C. Metamorphic D. Limestone or E. Crystal Dias. Igneous Okay, so yung mga batong ito except crystal uh, differ from the way they are formed. So pag sedimentary from sediments kapag metamorphic may metamorphosis so they transform from other rocks due to heat or pressure and igneous are formed when molten rocks or magma cool down so the correct answer is b igneous k check thank 
you. Prof. Lu, next question. Okay, for history and philosophy, which of Plato's books was an influential treatise on political philosophy and an ideal society? The choices... Dias. The Republic. Let me continue. The choices are the Symposium A, B, Republic, C, Allegory of the Cave, D, Phaedo, and E, Apology. This work, possibly Plato's most important and most uh, uh, known, explores various aspects of an ideal society, including the nature of justice, the role of the philosopher king, and the importance of education. The correct answer is B, Republic, K, check. Next question, Prof. Sophie. In the visual arts, how is the illusion of three-dimensional depth on a two-dimensional surface achieved? A. Blind spot B. Parallax error C. Linear perspective D. Horizon of meaning E. Euclidean distance The answer is lin linear perspective It's when you imagine lines converging to a vanishing point that's linear perspective and that creates the illusion of three-dimensionality on a two-dimensional two surface. Thank you, Prof. Sophie. Now we're off to the last set of questions. Last 90 points. Mm -hmm. Prof. Marian. Dahil ang tanong ni, Doc, um, ni Professor Sophie ay parang mathematics. So my last question is math. If one side of a square is one unit long, how long is its diagonal? A, 1, B, 2, C, Dias. Square root of 2. Sagutin ko, ay, ano muna? <laughs> C, 3. <laughs> Na-confuse ako. D, square root of 2. Or E, square root of 3. And using the walang kamatayang Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So, kung 1 ang sides ng triangle or the square, the diagonal is square root of 1 plus 1 or square root of 2. Okay, check. Thank you, Prof. Marian. Brings back so many memories. Peter ba? <laughs> <laughs> Prof. Lu. Okay, madaling madali. History and popular culture. What television show in the 1960s and 70s is credited with popularizing the verb self-destruct? A. Twilight Zone B. Mission Impossible C. The Six Million Dollar Man D. Knight Rider E. The X-Files Mission Impossible The 1960s and 70s television show Mission Impossible featured at nagsimula siya bilang TV show Featured a tape recording containing sensitive information that typically ended with the statement, This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. The correct answer is B, Mission Impossible, K-Check. Prof. Lu, parang biglang nag-echo in my mind yung This message will self-destruct, diba? Mission Impossible. Last question for this round. Tingnan natin kung sasampa si Daya sa 300 mark. No pressure. Okay. Last question, Prof. Sophie. <clears throat> the traditional tinalak cloth of the Tiboli is made of abaca fibers and natural plant dyes. What loom is used to weave it? A. Hand loom B. Backstrap loom C. Tapestry loom D. Floor loom E. Inkle loom Yes, Dias. Si Tapestry Loom. Mali po. <laughs> Nabawasan tuloy. <laughs> A, Hand Loom. Mali po. B, Floor Loom. Floor Loom. Mali po. Sad. B, Backstrap. <laughs> okay. Alright. So, yung backstrap, Luna, how does it work? 
you attach one end of the fibers to a post or a tree and then um, the other end no, is attached to a strap that goes around your back and then you lean back and then you start weaving. No? So back strap loom is correct. K-check! And that's it for K-check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Dias, our K-check daily winner with a final score of 275 points. We'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-final. Well, thanks also to Erica, Angela, and Seb for joining us today and to the members of our Suking panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Lou, and Professor Sophie. So this has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.